Hey there, my fellow intellectuals. How are you doing today? Kyle here with another video. And today what I want to talk to you about is a story. And it's a story of how my naive expectations of what a certain type of research looked like in graduate school came crashing into the harsh reality of what it was actually like. But before I continue, if you're new here to this channel, please like and consider subscribing to my channel. It would really help me out and I would really appreciate that. But without further ado, let's talk about the story. So a little bit about me is that I did a bachelor's in physics in undergrad and I did experimental research even though it wasn't my first choice. My, my first choice would have been able to do theoretical physics research because I was really into theoretical physics at the time. I was really into ideas like string theory. I really wanted to know more about like interpretations of quantum mechanics and multiverses and, and stuff like that. So I was really into theoretical research, but I just didn't have the opportunity to pursue that as an undergrad. And when I went to graduate school at UC Irvine, my first summer there, it was the summer before we started officially taking classes, I was part of a summer program and I could choose who I wanted to work with for about two months. And so I picked like the guy in theoretical quantum mechanics here at UC Irvine. And I thought that this would be what my PhD would be in. I would focus on theoretical quantum mechanics. You know, I'd spend my days in the library just with a bunch of quantum mechanics textbooks laid out around me like Shankar and Sakurai and maybe even Griffiths. I mean, who knows? Who knows what books I would have had around with me. But I had this expectation of theoretical research was going to be just so amazing because the experimental work I did as an undergrad, while it was really cool and I had a good time doing it and I got better as time went on, it really wasn't my passion. It really wasn't the kind of research I could see myself doing for five or six years. And so I thought, yes, theory and quantum mechanics, those are like my favorite things because quantum was my favorite subject as an undergrad. And so... I remember within like a week of starting doing research with this professor in theoretical quantum mechanics, he had given me a problem that involved solving the Schrodinger equation in 1D, the time independent Schrodinger equation in 1D, and it was this really complicated potential. I think it's called like the partial Teller potential, if you care to look more about it. And I was supposed to study like its energy levels or whatever. And so I went to the library. I got all the books I could get on quantum mechanics. I found a nice quiet spot, got a nice chair, sat down, opened up my notebook, got my pencil, started writing down the equation, tried to solve it. And within 20 to 30 minutes, I realized, oh crap, I don't think this is that enjoyable. I'm in the library. I am just by myself, alone with my thoughts and I don't really know how to do this. I don't really have any guidance on it. And I did end up solving the Schrodinger equation with that complicated potential. It's a known solution. So I, I found the answer and I derived it myself, but I just didn't feel fulfilled. I just didn't feel happy. I felt that I can't see myself just, I don't know, sitting in the library for six years occasionally having a conversation with my advisor. Maybe if I'm lucky plotting out some solutions of the Schrodinger equation on my computer, but I just didn't really feel like that was what I wanted my PhD experience to be. And I felt like I'm just going to be, you know, at best coding some simple programs to look at some solutions. I'm not really developing any other skills like, you know, programming or, you know, um, collaborating with uh, people on bigger projects. It was kind of going to be like a solo journey. And I just didn't feel excited by it. And it was kind of sad because I had built up this reality in my head or this fantasy, I should say, in my head. And, and the reality was just that it wasn't that, you know, the theoretical research is very difficult and sometimes it can feel isolating. And this is no disrespect to people who do theoretical research. I know there are people who do theoretical research who are very fulfilled, who are very happy, who enjoy what they do and can stay in isolation for a while uh, of time and um, are perfectly content with that. And that's that's nothing wrong with that at all. I'm, it was just wasn't what was making me happy. And so, you know, that summer really helped me identify what I wanted to do in terms of my PhD. It made me realize that I kind of wanted more of a collaborative environment. I wanted to develop more like computer programming skills and learn how to code and 
um, you know, do stuff with a computer. That's why astrophysics is so awesome and why I'm so happy I transitioned into astrophysics. I have another video on my channel talking about how I ended up switching to astrophysics if you're curious about that, but that's a different story. I just wanted to let you know how when you are going into research, your expectation of what it might be can often be quite different from what the reality is. And you should be prepared for that. And you should be at least open-minded to the possibility that you might have to do something else and that you may not like what you're doing currently. And that's perfectly okay. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed this story. It was quite an interesting trip down memory lane for me. And if you liked the video, again, consider liking and subscribing and following me for other content. And I have some social media accounts that are in the description below if you want to follow me there. And I will see you next time. Take it easy, everyone.